Right, now I'm going to show you how to give a tablet to your cat. Uh, giving tablets is something that uh, is, is very important and it's a technique that is really very worth learning how to do. Uh, not only do we give tablets for preventative health care like worming, but, um, but also sometimes when your, your cat is poorly then they need a course of tablets and it's really important to be able to give them those tablets um, without too much difficulty. And the idea is to really make it as stress-free for you as well as for the cat. Ricky here is, um, is going to um, have his tablet given to him today. Um, the, the, the most important thing is that you need to be nice and relaxed about it and you need Ricky to be nice and relaxed about it. Make sure that he's nice and comfortable so you cuddle him into your body and I support his, his head with my left hand um, and just tilt his head upwards a little bit and then with my right hand I grab two fingers in front of the ear and one finger behind the ear and then my thumb in front of the ear on the other side. So you see we've got him held like that and actually that's really quite a nice firm hold for him and, he's, and he feels nice and comfortable, he doesn't feel too, too scared by me holding him like that. Then the key is to point his nose right up to the ceiling and you can see that actually as we point his nose up to the ceiling then his jaw just very gently opens up and you can see that actually it's very easy just to pull his jaw down like that. Now the, um, I'm trying to show you how to do it but um, and he gets his, his paw up a little bit there. Sometimes you need someone else to give you a hand um, and sometimes you need um, to have uh, what we call a pill popper or a tableter that, um, that can just um, make it a little bit easier for you. The things to remember though are you're trying to get the tablet right to the very back of the mouth, um, right in the centre um, and so that um, you can then close the jaw and then he just, you just hold his head in that position until he swallows. And then once the tablet has disappeared, then um, it, it's not going to come back up again that way. Sometimes we need to, do, um, to, to help it a little bit more by giving him a, um, a syringing a little bit of water into the mouth once the tablet's in there, and that helps with swallowing. And sometimes it does help to just blow them on the nose as well, um, and that just encourages them to swallow as well. I'll show you how we, do, how we give the tablet now. So we take the tablet. You just come forward and just make him as comfortable as possible and make him feel as secure as possible. Hold his head up so that his nose is pointing up towards the sky and then I put, my fi put the tablet in my in between my finger and my thumb and hold the, the jaw down with my finger and I put it right to the back. And there we go. Now sometimes they're not quite as good as Ricky, although um, he was a little bit reluctant. Um, they can be a little bit more challenging. Um, and that's when you can use something like this. Now this is um, as a tablet or a pill popper. And you can see just at the end here, you can put the tablet in and then there's a plunger that you can actually depress and that actually pushes the tablet out into, um, into the mouth. I'll show you how we do that. Point his head up to the sky with the tablet. You can use that just to open his mouth, put it to the back and squeeze. And there we go. And the important thing is once he's got the tablet in his mouth, you hold him gently, but nose pointing up to the sky. You can see his tongue sticking out there. As soon as he swallows, you can just rub his throat a little bit. As soon as he swallows, you know that he's taken that tablet. There we go. Brilliant. Ricky, that was a very, very good job. And give lots and lots of praise because it might be something you need to do on a regular basis.